Hey up everybody and welcome back to Sky Factory 4! It's me, look, me, with a little tiny wooden pickaxe, isn't that amazing? Right, I have a plan for this episode. Would you believe it? No, me neither. My plan is, I want to get some more chicken seeds planted. Yes, chicken seeds, if you've seen the last episode. You know, go back and have a look. It will explain all. I want to get a market crafted. And I also want to build a mob spawner. That should be fun. So we can start farming some mobs and basically see what kind of loot they drop. So first things first, we need to get some chicken seeds. Let's see how this little chickadoo is doing over here. How you doing, chickadoo? You doing well? You are growing cooldown nine minutes. Okay, so it should grow at some point during this episode. Um, for the market, I do believe we need some red dye. So let's get some of these poppies here so we can uh, smush them up and turn them into some red dye because we need some red wool. If I remember correctly from the recipe that I saw. Ow. Let's get some bone meal. So I think this is our... Uh, Bone sapling, yes, that's the one. So we've got two in there, but we'll just get some of this resin and stuff. We're going to need a load of logs and a load of slabs later for making our... For making our... Mob spawner. God, words. Bone block, yeah. Is that how you do it? Right, let's pop that into there. Yoink. Lots of bone blocks, and now I think, oh, I've done this, right. Sneeze brick. Yeah, I thought I had. I got a load of it in here as well, so I don't know why I did that. Right. Potato, potato. Carrot, carrot. We can expand this farm, so that's not going to be an issue. Just keep doing this. And just grow all this wheat and get all these seeds. There we go. Super easy. We'll plant some of them. So we can get more. Let's get more wheat. Because we're going to need a load of wheat to feed all the animals anyway. Once we get them growing and get breeding them a bit normally. So we'll have to make as many chicken seeds. Where's our acorns? Acorns, acorns. Cottonwood, cottonwood. We only need five really, don't we? And... Chicken seeds. There we go. Five chicken seeds. Right, let's go get these planted. Get these little dudes growing away and then hopefully by the time these have uh, grown up into little baby chickens we may well well that was annoying wasn't it be right chicken seeds planted now we need to what do we need to do we need to make some slabs because we're gonna need to build a big area chock full of um well, it's going to be a big area basically so we can build the mob spawner we also need um planks so we've got lots of wood here lots of planks oh look look at that boop and just a few extra so what we got one two three four five six stacks that should be enough especially with some planks to make up the deficit as well so that's good right it's getting towards night time where should we do it I think we should probably do it over this way so I think we need to be about 25 blocks away for the mob spawner I don't know why I've got that magic number in my head but I've seen it and I heard it somewhere so I'm gonna build a bridge 25 blocks away to build the mob spawner um, and then I'll show you the basic area and then I'll go through the process of how we do it Right, I've got my nice long bridge, so this is where I'm going to start building the zone for the spawner. What I want to do is I want to have it um, two blocks around the outside of it, and then I need to leave three blocks space in the middle for the actual construction of the spawner itself. The reason I want to leave two blocks around the outside is because I want to put a fence around it, just in case. And then I've got room to walk around and just hack at the mobs that are inside. And depending on where the loot falls, I'm going to leave space all around the outside of it for it. So I'll get the base built down. It can be as wide across as you want it to, but you need to leave the three blocks width. And you'll see why. 
here we are. We have our platform placed ready to start building our mob spawn. As you can see, it is rather large at the moment. And as it stands, because it's constructed of slabs, there is no possibility of anything spawning on here um cause minecraft rules and all that so if we press f7 it it shows nothing because f7 shows the light levels or something it's another mod that shows you whether mobs can spawn in an area or not so what we need to do is make it so that we can spawn some mobs in here um so starting from here because i'm gonna have to put something around the outside there and leave the two blocks so we're gonna do a line of slabs down the middle like this all the way to the other side now if I do the light level thing mod you can see now here there is a possibility so the yellow lines means there is a possibility that mobs will spawn on that now we've got to be careful here because it is got access to our base and we don't have a sword we only have an axe to protect ourselves so maybe I should have brought some torches with me but it is nearly night time so I'm just gonna go sleep the night away and hope that nothing spawns in between us sleeping and cracking on with the next one. Good morning. <laughs> right, nothing has spawned. That is good. Let's go check how the chickens are doing. This wheat's growing nicely. You're still wandering around. Let's make sure you can't escape. Oh, big old chicken. It's proper chicken now. Look at that. Oh, look, we've still got these on. That means stuff can spawn around here. We'll best get some torches down at some point as well. So at 28... All seem to be at 28%. Nice. Growing well. See? This is all ready for us to start working on the next level. Let's just have a quick nibble. But next level, we're going to be putting some planks down. Because as wonderful as this is, um, trying to harvest them at this level is going to be a pain because we're only going to leave one slab width to actually attack the mobs so they can't attack us. So what we need to do is raise this up so we're chopping away at their feet. And yes, I am doing this all from memory. Would you believe it? So now, now we've got this raised up like this, it's gonna be much easier to attack the mobs that actually spawn in there. And I've just realized I've done a derp. Cause I need to step up here. So what the next plan we need to start building the walls and the roof. Right, we need to make it tall enough so that we can get some endermen in here as well. So we need to make it at least three blocks high. So let's get rid of those. So as you see from that, whoop, that was silly because now I can't use my step to get up. We've got the gap underneath here so we can attack anything that spawns, right? So let's work on the first wall so you can see how it's got to be. Right, so now you see we have our nice lovely high walls there. So that means once we get this all enclosed fully, either side, it will be completely dark in there. And then this should turn a different colour. But what I want to do is I want to get the rest of these walls built and then make sure that nothing can spawn on top of it. So let's get back up here. So there we go. We've got our walls completely built now, surrounding the entire thing. Um, but to make sure that we actually get something spawning in there what we need to do is pop some planks down like this on top of it to make a roof because then we know that absolutely nothing will spawn on top of it either but as we're doing this you may see the light levels under there change he says hopefully is it gonna happen anytime soon no, why is it not happening? Maybe the whole thing needs to be enclosed for us to do it. Because that should change. From yellow. There you go, you can see it just over there, look. So that has now changed from yellow to red, which means that is a place that mobs will definitely spawn. And obviously the reason we're putting this on the top here is to make sure that nothing spawns up on the roof and drops down and comes attack us as well busy doing something else did you did you hear that change did you hear that audio does that mean something oh the whole thing look look how dark it is in there now and look at this there's a random slab down there that i forgot about let's get rid of this one there we go that was our step up so there we go 
we have our mob spawner built. Look at that. Isn't it majestic? Isn't it wonderful? Let's go check on our chickadees. Oh, got our first egg. Perfecto. How are these doing? Ooh, this one's doing all right. 57%. 42, 28, you're a bit slow. 42, yeah, they're getting there. All right, let's make some torches so we can reduce the risk of anything spawning in the chicken farm. Having a look, and there we go. Look at that, we've got a creeper already. And something else there as well. All right, let's crack on and make some cobblestone so we can make our first sword. Actually, we can start using the tinker's stuff as well. So we can make a cobblestone sword using the tinker's stuff. So, sword blade. Boop. Stick the cobblestone in there. There we go. We've got a sword blade. Uh, was it a wide guard? Or wide guard? Do we have a guard in here somewhere? Maybe we haven't made one. Ah, oh, there we go. Wide guard. And tool rod. I think it was, wasn't it? So, we've got all those pieces now. So let's put these bits in here to rod, wide guard, and a stone. And there we go. Boom. We've got our first tinker's tool. And of course, it had to be a sword, didn't it? Here we go. So, oh, look at all these mobs. We've got a skeleton. We've got a creeper. We've got two other things. Let's go chop them up. Just, wow. What's that? Number one kit. Interesting. Could be an android. There we go. Gunpowder. Love it. Wow. Matter overdrive. Yeah, that's Jared. Something or other. That's not doing a lot of damage. Oh, it's because it's broken already. Put that back in there. You get some of that cobblestone out of there. It's been a while. Pop that in there. And there we go. Nicely repaired. Let's go finish what we started. Some of them might have despawned already, though. Jared's still here. Yeah, the other ones have despawned. Did you drop any loot? No, but you dropped XP. So there you go. That's the mob spawner. Right, so what else did we want to work on today? I think we wanted to build a marketplace, didn't we? So we don't have much string. We can make some. It's all good. I only need one anyway. You can go back in there. Let's get some red dye. Pop that on the white wall. Boop. There we go. Red wall. Uh, logs. One, two, three, four, five. Logs. Five logs. One red wall. Two planks. And boop. We've got a market. This little piggy. Yes! Right, what I'm going to do is I will put the market in the corner of these here. I think that's a nice place to do it. Just here. I'll leave space for a fence that we will eventually get around there. <laughs> Love that entry there. Another comment that we had was to build a villager spawner over the um, smeltery so that if any villagers spawn they drop straight into the smeltery and they would smelt into emeralds. I mean that sounds a little bit grim to me but also very awesome from an economy, economy point of view but I don't know how to build a villager spawner. If anybody does let me know in the comments and we'll do that yeah okay so there we go that sounds about good doesn't it? We have Clarissa, the marketplace person. So we can buy all these seeds and saplings and things. They're quite expensive. So yeah, that's it for this episode. If you did enjoy, then don't forget to zap like like button. If you want to see more from us, don't forget to click subscribe and a little dingly bell to be notified when we go live and when we drop our next videos. So thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Laters.